ready to see the OC bomber Joshua Snyder going to his crib today to see what's going on with him. We try to catch him off guard, you know, see 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 how he's living, what's up with him, and stuff like that. Game. I got a big fight coming up March 7th. Uh, fighting the guy who's 19-3-3. Uh, and, 19, 3 and 3. Um, Don't ask me to pronounce his name because I can't do it. It's right. Wally Schmidt or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it right. Uh -huh. But that's up in uh, Montreal, Canada. Um, that's going to be an eight-rounder. And um, from there, just hoping the doors open up and more stuff start, start coming along. Uh, I mean, yeah. So, um being as though we try to catch you with your guards then come to your crib, man, and stuff like that. So tell us what you be doing, like, and, and, and you know, like, before your fights. I, I understand that you spawned in, in yeah, North Virginia. Yeah. Going down North Virginia. Yeah, so. Sparta, Sparta Pro down there. Uh, uh, I forget what they said his name is. Willis something. Uh, he's got 2-0 and or 3-0 and with, with all knockouts. Okay. So he's supposed to be a little power puncher, so we're going to see what kind of power he really got. Right, right, you know right. I mean? so, but, um... What I've been doing as far as the training, uh, I work 11 nights or 7 in the morning every night. Um, when I get off work, I go to the World Gym in Ocean City, and um, I do my uh, weight training workout there, uh, depending on what day it is. If it's going to be chest, shoulders, um, legs, uh, explosive exercises, whatever, whatever have you. Um, and I usually be getting home like right about now, 10.30. And then um, go up, take a shower, eat, relax for a minute, take a four hour, maybe five hour, you know, sleep and then get ready to go to Jim and Salisbury and then put it in out there for three or four hours. Okay. You know so you don't you don't just box, you got a, a secondary job as well. Uh, yes, yes, so most certainly. Also uh, taking a personal training uh, uh, a course so I can be a personal fitness trainer. Okay. Um, that's something I'm real real big into since I've been exercising all my life. Right. You know, living a healthy lifestyle all my life so I figure I might as well get a license to do it. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah, any like, like what you when you train for your fights and stuff like that. Is, are there any like um, particular diets and stuff like that that you go on or? Um, yeah, um, you know it depends on what kind of money coming in. Right. Because uh, eating healthy is eating expensive. You right. know what I mean? It's not cheap to do so. But I eat uh, um, um, no white bleach food, no white, no white rice, no uh, white bread. Mm -hmm. Everything's got to be whole wheat or grain. Um, a lot of green vegetables, a lot of chicken, um, no skin, unfortunately, because everybody loves the chicken skin, but I uh, don't eat that at all, it's full of fat and everything else, and um, um, just lean meat, you know what I mean, I try to eat healthy, a lot of fruits and vegetables, as often as possible, right, right. you know what I mean, get, a, get as much protein, fiber, and stuff like that in my body as I can to, to, to uh, help with the energy, right. so I can do what I do in the ring, because uh, it, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of energy, and you don't just get it from training. You got to eat properly if you want to be, you know, on that level. Right. So, um, are you one of those fighters where you say you work at night? So obviously you can't get up five o'clock in the morning and hit the road. No, I can't do and all stuff. that. Okay. All right. I can't do all so that. when do you have time to hit the road, and, and how often do you um, hit the road, and you know, get your running? I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Most people lie. I get right. up here. I run five miles a day. This and that. If you do, great. Right. It ain't really helping you in a ring. This ain't a marathon contest. This is a high intensity sport. You know what I'm saying? I don't run very often. When I do run, I do a lot of sprints. And we do sprints. Uh, we'll start at like 40 yards and 60, then 80 yards, then 100 yards, then 120. We sprint more and more and more, further and further and further. To, to, it's all about the endurance when you have to push it. Right. You know what I mean? Jogging five miles a day, I don't care if you jog 100 miles a day. There's no push involved in that. Right. There's no endurance really needed. As long as your legs keep moving, you're going to keep going. Right. You ain't never getting winded. You get winded every sprint. Play games or nah. thinking that, you know nah. what I mean? And you yeah. know what I hear a lot too, man? A lot of people like from the outside looking in when, you know what I'm saying, say for an example, I've seen you fight on TV before, whatever, whatever, and some viewers, you know what I'm saying, that don't know about boxing, uh -huh. they have a tendency to be like, you know, he should move like this yeah. or he should do it like that. Explain yeah. to them it's not that easy. It is not that easy. If it was that easy, you'd be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, everybody would be doing it if it was that easy. It's not that easy at all. It's, right. It takes, it takes uh, um, 
I was talking about this with my man the other day. Boxing is a sport that takes it takes skill, it takes experience because you can't just come in your first day and and, 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 and star. You know what I mean? Right. It takes time and you got to build some work in progress. Uh, um, it takes a lot of dedication and it takes a lot of sacrifice. You have to be willing to to stay in the gym and train for hours and hours, knowing that you're gonna be late to work, knowing that you're missing time with your kids, knowing that, that you can't go to the party with your boys, right. you know what I mean? Stuff right. like that, you can't always do A lot that. of sacrifices. A lot of sacrifices. Yeah. And that's what I was about to ask you. I heard that you say you beat Aaron Pryor Jr. in Cincinnati. Yes. That's which is his hometown. His hometown, um, that's right. That's I right. happen to know his father and stuff like Aaron yeah. Pryor Sr. But um, tell us some of the fight, fighters that you have beaten that's undefeated and also give us a, a little rundown on the, you know some of the fights that you Fought, okay, and um, and 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 also your record. Okay, well, uh, I'll start off. I'm eight, three, and one right now, which um, it's all right. A lot of people think it's a good record. I'm not personally satisfied with it because it's false right now. I should be ten and two, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, I fought uh, a couple fighters. I fought. I fought uh, John Mackey. First time I fought him, uh, I beat him. He was undefeated. He was uh, uh, nine and zero, oh. and then we rematched in D.C. at the, the Fight for Children event, mm -hmm. and uh, they gave us a draw, I don't know how, but they gave us a draw, so that gave me my, my only draw. Um, I fought Aaron Pryor Jr., he was 12-0, gave him his first loss. I fought um, um, Jimmy Lubash from up in Pittsburgh, he was 8-0, I think, I gave him his first loss mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh, in his hometown, you know, we fight everybody oh, so in their hometown. Yeah, you coming to their back yeah, door. Yeah, yeah I, right. I like doing it, I like to do it, you know, in my house. Right, right, right. Let's fight at your house, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then um, uh, I fought Jesse Nicklo from Baltimore, um, and I fought him in his hometown, which that was a mistake. Uh, we fought eight rounds, and uh, if you watch the tape, everybody that was there, his dad even came up to me, told me I won that fight right. easy, pieced him up, had him hurt three times. He ain't never hurt me, he never really stung me at all. Right. Uh, but they gave it to him, and that's my that's one that's my one loss that mm -hmm. I shouldn't have as a loss. Right. <clears throat> that's why I should be ten and two right now, but. I beat four undefeated fighters out of five. 